posted two videos and encouraged the fella or gal or whoever the fuck this is that interacted with me earlier, you know, based on, where is it at? They said, okay, but LGBT is valid, so they said that. Um, back to point. And here's where it went. And keep in mind, those two videos, one of them's 40 some minutes long. So that tells me everything I need to know about the person I'm interacting with. They didn't take any time to consider the information. They haven't even watched both videos. There's, there wasn't enough time involved. They wrote me back in 12 minutes. <laughs> this is how people work. Because people are not fucking thinking for themselves. It's opinions and hearsay. That's it. The trickiest thing about pulling your head out of your ass is it's not easy letting go of the paradigms because that's what our masters train people to assume reflects reality. It's what people think they know. All it is is they're familiar with a fucking adult fairy tale in most cases. Sometimes grains of it still reflect reality, but they've been drugged through the mud so badly that it will mislead you, I, and anybody else you impart that crap to. And that's how the game of telephone or society or however you want to look at it. The, I usually say the circle jerk that is the truth community functions. And you see this. That's why you got to feed, you know, the, the thing where all the information, the quote unquote information pops up. And it's a superficial slush pile. And people recirculate that. It's a problem. It's a propaganda mill. I've said this numerous times. If you look at the old transcripts, and I say old, I mean, it was new to me then, but that's still how I think of it. Davos panel is what I want you to look up. D-A-V-O-S panel. It's the public forum of what our masters get up to. And they tell us outright many of the things that they are up to, what they're going to do. And the one that always stands out to me and the one that I constantly bitch about on here is when they told the fucking masses that they were going to give us a form of communication. When I first read the transcript, I had no idea it would turn into social media apps, you know, social engineering platforms. I had no fucking clue. I read the aspects of it having to do with, uh, what was it, the internet? And I didn't see that as a problem so much then. I saw the internet as something new and... I thought it was pretty fucking amazing. A form of communication, information at our fingertips. I looked forward to it. I frowned on cell phones and I tried to, I, tr I told myself I would never get a cell phone. But never say never. But uh, when I read the jazz about cell phones, I thought, well, yeah, I'm never going to get one of those. Fuck that. So they'll never have me in that regard. But here I am talking to you through a cellular device. It's spooky. This is how shit works. And we get broken down. We get boxed in. And our masters... How should I put it? The goal is control and they are narrowing things. They are hurting us in a certain direction. And no one's thinking for themselves. So no one's coloring outside the lines. They're not uh, standing up for what fucking matters. Freedom of speech, case in point. I mean, you got cancel culture, positive vibes only, and the list fucking goes on. I mean, it's another clear and present example of what the internet and all this jazz it was originally supposed to be and what it would eventually become, which is what we see now. They roped us in, they got us hooked, and now they're tightening the noose. It's not rocket science. And I like to joke around and laugh about it, even though it's pretty fucked. Rocket science isn't rocket science. Rocket science is a parabolic arc that ditches in the sea. And there are still people out there today that haven't figured that out. And on that note, I'm a walking disclaimer statement. I'm not talking about the flat earth. I'm not a fucking flat earther. And I'm not a proponent of the globe theory. Those are two narratives our masters spoon-fed people to buy into like a football game and to conquer and divide groups of people. We see this today having to do with the subject matter that I'm bitching about. I mean, I go out the door here in Portland and because I have uh, less melanin, <laughs> I have a uh, fair skin, blue eyes, and I wear combat boots. But, I mean, people give me the dirtiest fucking looks. 
And they don't know me. They've never met me. Yuppies fucking loathe me. And you see it in their eyes. I'll interact and I'll be courteous because I was raised with manners. I mean, I opened <laughs> I opened doors for some of these kids. Some of these kids that have bought into these agendas. And just some of the older uh, yuppies out there. And they will scowl at me. Even though they'll still go through the door because I'm opening it. But they will scowl at me. They won't say thank you. They won't even acknowledge me. Most won't even look me in the eyes. And this is just Portland. Portland, Oregon. It's pretty fucking spooky. I also understand yuppies have always been yuppies. Gentrified horse shit. I get that. But uh, the young kids, too. I mean, I'm not marching around in a fucking dress. I don't got my pink hair. Or all the other name tags that people wear. Having to do with trends. Social engineering trends. So I don't exactly fit their uh, their expectations. Especially in an age where uh, being a dude is frowned on. In a number of ways. You've heard the social engineering jargon. Toxic. What do you think of? Do you think of gals when you hear the word toxic? Probably not. And it's by design. I'll digress on that note. What the fuck do I know?